This is a quick review of the Glacier Bay Linen Cabinet, which is part of the Shaker Collection. We've been planning to remodel our bathroom since we moved in, but until that day slash budget arrives, my other half and I needed a place to conveniently store towels, bath supplies, cleaning products, and a never-ending collection of beauty serums, tonics, lotions, makeup, and miscellaneous. Hers, not mine. Hey, can't fault her for taking care of herself, right? So I chose this Glacier Bay linen cabinet in the shaker style with the intention of possibly incorporating it into our eventual renovation. The cabinet has a smooth white finish, brushed nickel hardware, magnet on the door, five tiers of storage, and three of the shelves are adjustable. It has a small footprint if you're pressed for space like we are, and looks nice in my opinion. Unfortunately, upon close inspection, there are some rough edges and the laminate does not wrap around the panels, giving it a slightly distressed look along some of the seams. More on that later. The exterior dimensions are 62 and a quarter inches high by 16 inches wide by 12 inches deep. And the interior dimensions are 13 and 11 16 inches wide by 11 and a half inches deep on the movable shelves and 12 inches deep on the fixed middle and bottom shelves. Now, while this is a linen cabinet, a normal size bath towel folded in the traditional fashion will stick out roughly two inches. Not a big deal, but just figured I'd let you know. Now, the width is adequate if you prefer to roll your towels, in which case you can usually get two towels deep depending on how tight, tightly you fold your towels. And keep in mind, you can always store towels on the top. Assembling the cabinet was nice and straightforward. The directions are clear and the panels and hardware are clearly marked. Also, no parts were missing, which I always appreciate. All I needed to provide was a Phillips head screwdriver, a hammer, and a drill. It took me roughly an hour and a half to assemble, although I could have done it faster had I been wearing my reading glasses instead of the goofy fake ones you may have noticed. While it's recommended to attach the cabinet to the wall for safety reasons, I chose not to because A, I don't like making holes in the walls, and B, I don't intend this to be a permanent installation. Oh wait, should I have said spoiler alert before I said it won't be permanent? Yeah. All right, I'll just spill it all right now. While I like this cabinet's appearance, it doesn't seem durable or of the quality required for a long-term installation in my opinion. Some panels are laminated particle board while others are laminated MDF. And that wouldn't be an issue if I wasn't planning to put it in a bathroom where it will be exposed to moisture. Not only are the edges not sealed as I've mentioned, but there is exposed particle board on the back of the sides and three sides of the shelves and under the feet, and the laminate is paper thin. I peeled off two of the part label stickers because I could see them, and the laminate peeled off with the stickers. That was disappointing. Are you serious? And unless the hardware is stainless, which it doesn't mention, the parts could be subject to surface rust, given my family members treat the bathroom like it's a steam room. Please turn on the fan. Now, Glacier Bay does provide plastic caps to cover the silver cams around the inside. Thanks for that. However, to cover the screw rolls in the bottom of the cabinet, they provide round white stickers. Seriously? Stickers. A few other things to note. The middle of the door and back panel are very thin materials. The back panel is only an eighth of an inch thick and it feels like light cardboard. Also, the door is not meant to be reversed. You could try though, but it'll probably leave some unsightly holes. Regarding the warranty, the cabinet comes with a one year limited warranty that covers defects in materials and workmanship. I'll have to look into whether it covers peeling laminate. To wrap up, this is a nice looking cabinet. It provides helpful storage with a minimal footprint. Unfortunately, given the quality of the materials, it won't make the final cut when we eventually renovate. If this video has been helpful, please do me a favor and like it, and more importantly, please subscribe. That always helps me out. Thanks so much for watching.